There's a level of sophistication with this audience uh, that you don't find everywhere. We have a question from a viewer who notes that some years ago the legislature gave municipalities authority to create what are called stormwater districts and to charge uh, for improvements over a larger area without dealing with uh, the Chapter 429 special assess assessment procedure. And given the interest in transit and traffic and roads and bridges that we've had this session, the viewer is suggesting that maybe there should be some experimentation dealing with traffic, uh, with um, street improvements in the same way. In other words, decoupling street improvements from uh, 429 special assessment procedures, the idea being that many streets benefit larger parts of the community than just simply um, the area in front of a particular property. It's a little bit policy wonkish, but it's an interesting question. And um, I guess my question is to the panel, has there been any discussion about special assessment procedures, those kinds of issues, ways of allowing cities to perhaps more easily make street improvements without going through 429 proceedings? Representative Pulowski, you've got, you've got the most uh, You've got the veteran status here. What do you think? It, this is an issue I, frankly, am not that familiar with. I am more familiar with the impact of something like local government aid and what we saw in Monona when we did finally start restoring local government aid. There were 50 blocks of streets that are under repair, and I mean almost total repair. Sewer, the entire street's been taken up, and they're being replaced. And uh, this is a one-time investment, but it's an investment that should last 100 years. That particular niche, though, I am not familiar with. This, this is kind of an inside baseball question. I now, the former city attorney in me thinks this is really interesting, but I'm sure a lot of other people don't. Representative Dean, any thoughts on that? Uh, on the, the questions, particulars of, of that, mm -hmm. I would not be familiar with how that might benefit, uh, you know, towns in my district, so I would be interested to find out more about that. I know that uh, in my, uh, my city of White Bear Lake, uh, the, the city and the state uh, work together to try to match some local and state funds <coughs> to try to fix up Highway 61. So if you cruise through White Bear Lake, you're going to see some White Bear Lake money and you're going to see some state of Minnesota money coming together um, in a project uh, that, uh, that, that uh, they work together on to try to, to, try to streamline that. But uh, I would be interested in your wonkish uh, <laughs> uh, what, listener or, uh, or viewer about uh, how that might help us more. Senator? Well, I actually do know a little bit about it. Hey, there you go. We found our <laughs> expert. Got one. I, won't, I won't go that far. But um, in the Senate Transportation Committee, we have been talking about this for a few sessions. And um, if anybody wants to refer to good old Senate File 87, which is the uh, Transportation Finance There's even a Senate Bill, file on it. There Way is. To go. It is included as one component of the comprehensive transportation package that uh, Senator Dibble has authored and that I'm pleased to be a co-author of. And it inc includes these street improvement districts. And again, it goes back to the issue the counties and cities and townships have really struggled to try to take care of this very real need in their communities, and they're looking for new tools. And this is, it's much as you described, it, it allows some flexibility and recognizing that, um, you know, if my street, little street gets improved, it really just benefits my property value. But there are some streets that do have a, play a larger benefit into the community and that we can be a little more creative in drawing those lines and allowing some local control into that decision making. And um, that's that'll be part of the legislative discussion going forward. We may actually see some action on it. Absolutely. So. Is that in the governor's budget, Senator? I way? I do not believe that is in his proposal. Okay. But I don't quote me on that. One of my one of my very first assignments as a young lawyer, thirty some odd years ago, was to deal with a 429 problem. So uh, yeah, it, like I said, it's got a little aspect of wonky just wonkiness to it. <laughs>